previously on Beach's Back. Oh, St. Stephen's Cemetery. How the hell did she find me? You listen to me for once. The cops are closing in on us. Let's get the stash and get out of London. We don't actually know where she is, sir. This place belongs to a pal of Tommy's. You looking for the stash? He hasn't told you where it is, has he? Danny, this is just a little get-together. Smokey Baker, my favourite. Tommy ever talked to you about Frankie? Didn't think she was straight goods. He's gonna find out. She's playing us off. I hope you get the money. I'll get Beach. How do I know I can trust you? So where would you like to go, Claire? Hmm? Oh, come here. How fast do you think you're going to get? Oh, kill me! Help! Help me! She might come in handy, but now... Let's finish her! So what do you reckon, Claire? Shall we put you out of your misery, shall we? Just do it! I'll tell you what, Frankie. You do it, eh? You do it! Stay down! Stay off! You do it, Frankie, come on! There you go! Go on! Come on, Frankie, you can do this, yeah? All you have to do... Let's cut a throat. Go on, just to a neck back, just like this. Thank you, you want a dead? Slit a throat. Come on, do it. No! <laughs> you can't do it a knock and eye, because the bottom line is, we are not cold-blooded killers, are we? It's okay when you can't see the whites of their eyes. When you're in the car and they've got their back towards you, that's all right. Get on the bed! Get on that bed now! Give us your wrist. She's trying to run me over! Different thing. Locking the door with you inside here and letting you starve to death, no problem. I could do that and so could she. So don't think for one minute you are off the hook, because you are not, OK? Oh, you think you got it all sussed, don't you, dog? Yes, I have got it all sussed. I know what's going on here with this little menage a trois. I also know that two women and one man puts me smack bang in the driving seat, OK? Now you know why I like you, why I care about you. You just couldn't do anything like that, could you? Good girl. But you shouldn't have let her go, Frankie. You won't do it again, will you? I'm relying on you. No, I won't do it again. Because there's just you and me that count in all this. We have to stick together, all right? Something else happened? Mm-hmm. Police raided our apartment. What? How do you know? 
I was there when they arrived. Did they find everything? No, got most of it out. But, um, well, her prints would be all over the place. You're not worried? No, of course I'm not worried. <laughs> Let them know who they're dealing with. They've got Madonna's dead, haven't they? Well, whoever was here left in a hurry. Which means they know we're on their trail. What are you thinking? Well, Stanton goes missing. Now, the car that's abandoned at her last known whereabouts leads us directly to an Asian girl that she was convinced was working with Don Beach. Beach is beginning to look a bit like the bogeyman. They'll be frightening kids at night with him. I think he's still alive. He knows all our moves before we make them. Hello? Yes, Jerry. Go ahead. You know that painting? We got 400 grand for it. That's really good news, Jerry. Well done. As for the other stuff, I have someone lined up. They'll, uh, they'll need to see it, of course. And if they agree to shift it, it's 30%. No, Jerry. 30%'s out of the question, remember I told you. Now, come on, Don. That's not a bad deal, considering the merchandise. Hold on. There's a guy who wants 30% to get rid of the rest of the gear. Take it. Offer him 20, Jerry. Yes, you can. See you later, bye. Go pick my car up. Yeah. Another couple of days, and we'll be long gone. Well, we've got prints in the car, prints in the apartment, both of which are waiting a match on. And we believe that Stanton may have been abducted by the gang. I'm not 100% sure about their intentions, but it's not going to be a ransom, is it? I mean, they've got more money than the average lot of win already. Gov, yeah. might have something on Claire Stanton's car. on drugs or something we got in touch as soon as we saw the PNC you stopped this character you knew it wasn't his car and you let him go he said Claire Stanton was his girlfriend and he was one of us you know a copper and you didn't think to check well, you couldn't be bothered no he seemed to know a lot about Sun Hill even the name of the inspector there Sun Hill that's right I mean he told us what did he look like middle-aged average build looked in shape dark hair and he spoke with a London accent that's Don Beach Don Lazarus Beach. See? Stanton was right.
that have done their job properly, Mr. But at least now we know that Beach was involved in Stanton's disappearance. <sighs> Where the hell is he hiding her? I suppose he is hiding her. Well, you mean he might have killed her? Gov, one of our informants has come up with something. We tasked him for intelligence on the property stolen. Yeah? He bought two pieces of jewellery from a certain Danny Pasco. Well, that sounds promising. If we can crack one of them, we'll get the rest of the gang. Including Beach. Including Beach. And if we have Beach, we have Stanton. Yeah, dead or alive. Of your sleep. Who said we were sleeping? Okay, I'll be with you in about an hour. I'll bring everything that's left. Right. What are you doing? I've sold the rest of the gear. There's a buyer waiting. It's been in there all this time? Yes. Frankie, it's been in there all this time. I wanted to keep it fresh. But where's all the gold? Somewhere safe. Is this all that's left? All that hasn't been sorted, yes. Now, I won't be long. Why can't I do the drop? Because I'm doing it, Frankie. Well, how do I know you'll come back? What? You know the account in the Isle of Man. You know where the gold is. Now you'll cop the money for the rest. Where does that leave me? Trusting me. Why don't you trust me? Let me take it. All right. You take it, Frankie. On you go. I'll have a nice little chat with my old buddy over there, all right? Take it. No, you go. I'm just being stupid. Go on. Sure? Yeah. Good girl. See you later. Like I said, it won't be long. What's the matter, Frankie? Scared he and I might just hit it off? Whatever it is, you've made a serious mistake. Yeah. And you can pay for the damage. Dog. Pay for it, eh? What with? Money from stolen jewellery. What the bloody hell's that? Maybe we should ask your son-in-law. Must have been in the TV when I bought it. Do you know a man called Don Beach, Daniel? Oh, I've never heard of him. He was a detective in the Met. Woo! Am I meant to be impressed? Hey, how did it go? Okay. Good, good. Now we're out of here. No, I haven't got the money yet. We believe that Beach is connected to the May 1st safe deposit job. And to the murder of a policeman. And to the kidnapping of an ex-police officer. Do you know this woman? No. I need to get out. Then go. I'm not stopping you, am I? What is the minute you do next is to take the curve of the dream and turn it into another boat. She's pulling your strings, Don. Clear. Button it. 
What about that 200 grand, eh? That deal with Granaski. What did I just say? Why don't you shut up? Well, it's just that I saw it, you know. I saw the money change hands. Did she tell you, Don? <laughs> Things are really starting to slide, aren't they? Losing your grip. Wishful thinking, Claire. Wishful thinking. Looks like everything might just collapse around you. Sweet dreams. After you land the board, you start believing this life is a... Oh, we can link you with a Mayfair job. What else can we link you with, eh? Nothing else. Nothing else? So you admit taking part in the Mayfair job then, do you? Oh, come on, Danny! We found all this gear in your house! Shut up! Right before! I want to know about Stanton, and I want to know about Breach! I know nothing about them. So who do you know about? My father-in-law set it up. It's his contact that was given. I'm asking you, Danny. This contact... Is it Beach? No. Goldman. Tommy Goldman. He's got a partner as well. But I don't know his name. So where can we find this Goldman? Six feet under. He's dead. Stop messing us about, Danny. I want names, times, places, and I want to know where Don Beach is. Don't. No. You recognise him, don't you? Don't you? Why didn't you tell me about the 200 grand? But, Don... I... So there was 200 grand. <laughs> Hello, can you read me? My name is Claire Stanton. What is it with you, Frankie? There's 200 grand floating around that I don't know about, and you accuse me of keeping you in the dark. Huh? I was keeping it as a backup. And there's not 200 grand. Granaski got half. I'm being held prisoner in an underground bunker on the B275. Now, you need to relay these facts to the police, understood? <laughs> Listen, this is not a hoax. I'm an ex-police officer being held by Don Beach and his associate. It, it's in the left luggage at Waterloo. It was for us, Don. Look. Take the ticket. Take it if you don't trust me. Ring the police. Tell them they can use this frequency to tune in on. Understood? I'm going to leave it switched on. No, please, please, listen. I know I should have told you about this earlier. I'm sorry I didn't. Please, Don, please. I need to know that you trust me. Hey, I do trust you. Look, when Spiller comes up with the money, we'll just leave here, right? Yeah. Where? Away from here, somewhere else. What about her? Because we'll buy them close the door. That way we don't see the whites of her eyes. Correct. <laughs> Daniel Pasco and Stephen Keating were arrested earlier this morning. We are also looking for a Don or Donald Beach. He is believed to be in the company of a girl, early 20s, oriental in appearance, and goes by the name of Frankie. Both are wanted in connection with the Mayfair safe deposit robbery and the disappearance of the ex-police officer, Miss Claire Stanton. This is it. Now I'll take Beginning of the end. Oh. We're finished. Finished? Oh, What's the matter with you? Don't you understand what this means? Oh, yeah. I know what it means, all right. Thank you very much, Frankie. It means now the gloves are really off. That concludes the statement. They want to fight. I'll oh, give them a fight. Sarge. Good. And is it the go on? Yeah. Take a look at that. Brilliant. Where the hell are you going? Spillers, get the money. Didn't you see the news? You think that's going to stop me? Come on. What? 
beast. I <laughs> am sensible for once, Frankie. No, you're not. You're letting your ego run away with you. Oh, really? Whatever then, okay? Stop for a second. What? You being seen around isn't going to do us any favors. And who's going to see me, Frankie? Just, just, just think. They'll want to nail you. Someone will see you. Let me go. They don't know me. I'll find out what's going on. Find out how they got hold of Pasco and Kitty. All right. I'm not leaving without the money. I'm not asking you to. I'm asking you to keep your head down until we find out what's what. Yeah, Stanton's car. When uniform pulled Beach over, she must have been in the boot. You reckon she was still alive? And she was still alive earlier today. I've just been speaking to some CB fanatic. He reckons he spoke to someone claiming to be Stanton. First he thought it was a joker, then he saw the news. What did she say? She'd been held by Beach in a bunker. In what? An underground bunker near the B275. And she's going to leave the radio frequency open. Right. We've got a radio detective van. Yep. He might be like looking for the proverbial needle, though. See this lot here? They're all bunkers. Government bunkers built during the war. There's loads of them. We need to get a team down there pronto, so it's a lot. If she's still alive, that's where we'll find her. Can you read me? Repeat, can you read me? Not to go. What's it got to do with you? You were wrong, you know. About what? 200k. She admitted to it straight off. Well, she didn't have much choice, did she? Oh, yes, she did. She could have lied. She didn't. So stop wasting your breath. Someone sent me a text message. Who was it? No beach. Have you seen the publicity? Your money's in there. I suppose you'll want to count it. I bet he's unhappy about being brought back from the dead. It's not the only one. You haven't had a visit? From the police? No. What would they want with me? How did they pick up Pasco and Keating? No idea. There's nothing to lead them to me. Except you and Don, of course. I think I can trust Don. He wouldn't say anything. You can trust me. Good. You have to think, Claire. When all this is through, who comes out of it the lucky one? Me or you? I know who I'd put my money on. Yeah. I suppose if I was looking at this from the outside, I'd say the odds were in your favour. Good girl. It's nice to see you're seeing sense eventually. Go on. Oh, Miss Page. Here you go. Oh. But if you want my advice, I'd uh, make yourself scarce for a little while. Don't worry, Don's got it covered. He's always one jump ahead. Let's hope so. Fancy a drink? Something to eat? Share my bed? No, thanks. Because like Don, I'm loyal. <coughs> oh, I... Sorry. So Frankie's gone to pick up some cash. She's probably being duty free by now. You never give up, do you? What about those bankers there? Uh, it's a good a place to start a semi. Right, about 200 yards up here on the left. We could get a fix from the detector man. You know, I should have taken it more seriously at the beginning. You mustn't blame yourself for that. I was the one who had her down as crazy. Yeah. But I knew her. You know, if you do anything stupid, the cuffs go straight back on, OK? You use cuffs much? Yeah, a few times. <laughs> a few hundred more like. 
you miss it? Coughing people or being a copper? No. Oh. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I miss it. And I suppose you blame me for that, right? Oh, yeah. Ow! Oh, sorry. You know, I killed a colleague. Things would be different if I could go back. It wouldn't be like that. No? What would they be like? I'd go straight, believe it or not. Right, here on the left. Here. Getting anxious, Dom. Worried she's not going to come back. Don't start that again, please. Well, you should have seen her when you weren't here, rummaging through that room like a mad woman, looking for those goodies. You just handed them to her on her plate. She'll be back, so stop clutching at straws. Yeah, 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 she'll be back. So why do you keep clock watching, then? Is it that you feel like a sitting duck down here? Right, that's it. I warned you, didn't I? Oh, Hands, no. come on. You just can't let things go, can you, Claire? Eh? You have to keep on needling me. I didn't have you down as a donut. What's the matter with you? Don't you know when you're onto a good thing? As soon as she comes back, and she will, we're going to lock the door here and go. And you're going to wish you kept your great big mouth shut. <laughs> Detective Adams struck gold. They picked up a signal. It's got to be her. Okay, pull this team out. Let's get him to where he counts. What's the location? What have you been doing? Nothing. Tell me, what have you been doing? Nothing. You. No. You don't know. No! No! Well? No, they lost it. Well, can't they find it again? No, the signal went dead. Could be anywhere within a five mile radius of here. Who did you speak to? Who did you speak to? It wasn't working! You just signed your own death warrant, you. I'm in a phone, Frankie. When she comes back, we are out of here without you. You are dead, do you hear me? Dead! We both are done. Frankie's not coming back. Yes, she is. I broke the lock. You just smashed up the only thing that was going to get us out. What have you done now? What have you done? You know what it is? It's the generator, Claire. Just run out of petrol. Oh, well, will you put some more in? I'm freezing. Oh, I would if I could. But I can't. 
in the car outside. And seeing as you so neatly jammed the lock, it's going to have to stay in the car outside until someone comes and lets us out. All right? <laughs> and you think it's funny, do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. I think it's very funny. Look at the fan. Look at the ventilator fan. Runs off the generator. We're going to run out of air very, very quickly, John. <laughs> You're going to be stuck with me. <laughs> I want more men. As many as you can get hold of. Find my way, if we can do this. Okay, guys, listen up. You tell me. The police are everywhere. They've raided Grandad's house, the shop. Did they find anything? No. Me and Mum know how to clean a place. Good girl. From now, you and your mum keep a low profile. Passports obviously pull us out. So, damage limitation time. I'm gonna find Giorgio and make sure we're still cool. Where's Dom? Is he all right? Safe. Somewhere they'll never find him. wondered how come you'd live so long. Charmed life. Crooked life. You ever thought about coming over to the other side? Sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> you should try it, Claire. Thanks for no thanks. You know, I've realised that you and me, you know, we're similar in a lot of ways. You and me, similar? Yeah. We're not similar. Both ex-cops, yeah. But that's as far as it goes. No, 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 no. You're wrong. Okay. How are we the same? You give us a drink and I'll tell you. Come on. Oi, 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 Okay. We are both failures. Failures? How come you think you ended up in this shit hole? It's just a temporary glitch. Temporary glitch for me, maybe. Not for you, Don. Your failure is permanent. It's indelible. It shines from you like a beacon when you skulk along the street. I've never skulked anywhere in my life. Oh, you skulk everywhere, don't you? You skulked off to Australia. You skulk back here. You are a washer. What are you going to do if you get out of here? Oh, I know. You're going to cock it up. Your entire life is just a sequence of disasters. Donald Beach, the man who achieved absolutely nothing. You're pushing your luck. What are you going to do? You're going to smash it on my head? You're going to kill me because you don't like what's happening around you? Like you killed John Bolton, Joey Tran, Claire Stanton. What's the matter, Don? Lost your bucket. <laughs> God, I'm funny. <laughs> You and me. We both have 
Nobody. Nobody. We're both loners. You got Frankie? No. Yeah, we're both lonely failures. We work alone. We live alone. Yeah. Most of the time, we play alone. That's what makes us happy. Oh, I wish. Does it make you happy? No. Uh, I suppose it makes me happy either. <laughs> now, this is all wrong. The, the, the main bunkers are down here. Yeah, yeah, we've searched all that area. There's nothing. I think we should have another look. Send them back. Do you know, I needn't have been a lonely failure. Hey, don't delude yourself. I didn't need to be. I had John. Uh, don't delude yourself. I mean, I had John. Only when it was convenient, Claire, while it filled a little gap. No. Yes. No. Yes. Very, very, yes, Claire. Very, very, no. Shh, 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 don't say that. It's true. He'd have been all over by now. If John had lived, he'd have been all over. Don't say that. I don't believe in that. You have to believe it, Claire, because that is what would have happened. You didn't trust him, did you? Like, I don't trust Frankie. <laughs> Come on, darling. Come on. Georgia, we need to talk. Yeah, well, I'm not in the mood for talking. You know, I just lost a shed load of money. The only thing I really want to do at the moment is get completely wasted. So. The police have turned over Tommy Goldman. They picked up Pasco and Keating. Oh, great. And what they found? I don't know, but we all have to lay low until this blows over. I presume this means yet another delay on me getting my money. You'll get it. Don't worry. But Pasco could have said anything. He could have given them your name, and we don't know, so just do as I ask. No, 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 no. You listen to me. I am not a grass, and I want you to bring me my money. And if you're not going to bring it to me, I'll come and get it. All right. Trust him like I don't trust Frankie. No. We are both the same. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. What do I do? won't let go because you're riddled with guilt <laughs> well if we're the same where's your guilt where's your conscience I have a conscience yeah what do you have a conscience about you tell me Go away. You die. 
No. It's the truth. What? I wish I told him. I wish I told him. I should have told him. I should have told him. Just like you, Tom. Just like you. Stop. I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be like you. I hate you. I hate you. Something else to get through that door. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some cutting equipment down. through the door.
Next on Beach's Back. Well, she's got to be out there somewhere, hasn't she? Lomax is waiting to bomb burst the money into a dozen different accounts all around the world. We haven't got time to be slow, Ray. Get stuck into us. We have to find out what happened to Beach. Enjoy this album. Frankie, why'd you do it? They want to double cross me. Why not join us on Sunday night as John Nettles stars in another new feature-length drama? Could extraterrestrial powers be at work and involved in midsummer murders? That's Sunday at 8. Next tonight, some more of Britain's craftiest con artists are exposed in Beware Rogue Traders 2 coming up.